Hey guys, I made inexpensive decorating shelvings in gold and silver using items that I already have at home and some items that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are quick and easy wall shelving ideas and I like to share with you guys how I made them. Now let's go ahead and get started. I got this clipboard from the Dollar Tree and hangers that I already have at home. And these are the common types that you get when you buy clothes from stores. I'm using a soldering iron to take off the hooks from both hangers. The next thing I did was to locate the middle and I marked it. And that's where I'm going to be opening up with the soldering iron and I did this for both hangers. If you're not comfortable using the soldering iron, please ask for help. Be careful to not draw the line too close to the bottom so that the hangers will still be sturdy. This is the clipboard that I'm going to be using to serve as the shelf. And I placed two mirrors on it and I'm going to be using it to measure out the exact size that I would need for the project. I put both the clipboard and the hanger together to measure the depths of the shell. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I've gotten my board, I'm going to be inserting the hangers to the board. Make sure that the hangers fit tightly to the board. You also have to make sure that it's properly flushed. I'm using a strong adhesive and I'm using an E6000 glue to join all the parts together. When applying the strong adhesive, you have to give a generous amount all through just to make sure that it stays strong and sturdy. When I was done, I left it overnight to dry. I took a foam board and drew a line in the middle. That's just enough for the clipboard to fit through. So I'm going to be carving out a deep hole using an X-Acto knife. I inserted the clipboard inside and making sure that it's snug. And I turned it to the back and I applied E6000 glue all around. I made marks and carved out tiny holes where both ends of the hangers would be inserted. This is to make sure that they stay in place. I use an E6000 to hold it down and then I spray painted the whole thing silver. I'm using silver beads to cover the top of the hangers. Now I'm going to be gluing two mirrors to the board. I'll be making use of this mini decorative trace that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue one in the middle at the upper part between both mirrors. I'm also going to be using this mini silver plastic spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree to decorate the empty spaces that we have on the board. This is what it looks like and then I repeated the same thing for the opposite side. I took marble contact paper that I have at home and I cut it to size and that's what I'm going to be using to cover both sides of the board. Take your time to press the paper to the board to eliminate air bubbles. I later decided to add more beads to the hangers and then more spoons to cover up all the rough edges. I'm going to be using command strips to hang it on the wall. I love the way this looks 
and I can put little knickknacks on it or even nail polishes. Now moving on to the second design and I used wooden hangers. I started off by taking out the pieces that I won't be needing. Because it's wood, I used the saw. And there's already a line to show me the middle part and this is how deep I cut the line. But it was too thin so I opened it up more. I'm also going to be using a clipboard. I'm doing the same thing that I did for the first design, but this time around I'm sealing it off with wood glue. I left it overnight to dry and then I spray painted it gold and this is what it looks like. I'm cutting the clipboard to the measurements that I'll be needing for this particular design. I have two boards with the same measurements and then one board with the different measurements that has a groove in the middle. I spray painted them gold and kept them aside. This is an 8x10 picture frame that I got from the Dollar Tree and I will be making use of just the glass. And I got two of them. I'm going to be arranging the boards with the glass to position them and see how I'm going to be gluing them down. The board in the middle is the one with the groove and both glasses will not touch each other in the middle. This is what the back looks like and I'm going to be using E6000 glue to hold both glasses with the boards together. After I was done doing this, I left it overnight to dry. I'll be using marble contact paper to cover up both sides of the board like I did for the first design. This cut here is to make sure that it fits perfectly at the corners. Just like I did for the first one, I'm smoothing it all out to eliminate air bubbles. I'm putting E6000 glue at the groove and then I'm going to insert the board inside. I'm going to be gluing on beads around the board using an E6000 glue. When this is dry, it's going to serve as added security. These are decorative wood carvings that I spray painted gold and I'm going to be gluing them at the top middle of both sides. I carved out a little hole where I can put the ends of the hangers and I glued it down. I covered the sides and the edges with small and large gems. This is a decorative trim that I have at home. It's a leftover from another project. I covered it here and all I did was just cut a singular strip and I'm going to be gluing it down to all of the remaining edges. I cut out singular pieces that I'm going to be using to cover up the sides that's close to the decorative wood carving. These are the hooks that I'm going to be using at the back to hang it on the wall and I glued it on using an E6000 glue and left it overnight to dry. I love the way this looks and I like the way the decorative wood carving added more style to the hanger shelf. You can leave it the way it is or you can take a cup hook and screw it at the bottom part and this is so that you can actually have anything else extra to hang at the bottom. I decided to go with this terrarium planter that I'm going to be using for lighting or flowers. You can add the cup hooks depending on what you're hanging. If you have this in the room, you can also hang little accessories like hand chains and necklaces. I'm so happy with the way the hangers worked out for decorative shelvings. 
This is a unique and personalized style for shelvings using hangers. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this idea and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.